Okay, so uh, what I've done now is I've put together um, a whistle track. You've seen how to record the whole way through this tutorial. There's no point me showing yet again and boring you with me terrible whistling, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now, um, play the actual track back to show you the whistling involved, and um, hopefully you get a better feel for what I'm looking at then from there, um, and then I'll show you how I've affected that then. Okay, so you can pretty much hear the whistle that's going on in there. Fairly straightforward. Nothing really, really that hard about it. Everybody can do it. Well, most folks can do it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the auto filter once again to roll off the bass frequency so we don't get any rumble in the bottom end that we don't need. Um, but I'm also going to run it through a delay to give it a nice, um, fairly straight sound. Again, I'm going to use the Kajir House um, delay that you get free with the um, free plug-in pack. Um, I use it pretty much on everything when it comes to delay. Um, just seems to have a, a really good sync to the host tempo that kind of keeps everything in, but allows you know loads and loads and loads of repeats. But it gives it a wee bit of an airy sound. Um, also, um, I've run it out to the reverb. Um, but I've I'll show that first, really. The reverb was on whenever um, I was playing that part of the track. So I'll show you how I've affected it to get the um, sound that I'm looking for. So again, that's just taking the breath really off it. Um, it's doing very little else there. I'm just going to throw the delay on it and um, show you how that's kind of running and then play it with the actual track with all of the um, effects on it. Um, we're nearly close to finishing now. I think that I'm, going, I'm happy with what I've got. I've recorded another bass part, another whistle part, and another, um, well, just left those two to be kept together for a, like a lead-in to the full part of the track. We're going to stick generally with the main sound and use the acid lead as the chorus part and to bring a bit more emphasis on it. Uh, so we should be able to run out a sort of two minute loop and, and give you a better idea, but what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to show you how to use the session view to make an arrangement, and I'm going to show you after that how to use the MIDI tab at the very top to um, mark it against your keyboard, um, and we'll do some filter sweeps and stuff like that to uh, maintain address throughout the track itself. So I'll just turn on the delay and let you hear that track back now. Okay, so we're getting a good delay on it. You might not be able to hear it in the speakers. You'd be able to hear it probably in the finished mix whenever I um, do the whole thing and master it up for you. But if I put in the rest of the track itself, give you a better idea of what we're looking at. That's pretty much us. Uh, we've done very well so far. Uh, just keep on, keep tuned, and we'll uh, go through the arrangement part of the section later from there.